Welcome back. In the previous video, we tried creating the service layer. In this video, let's go ahead and fill in the controller. We already have created a package. Let's go ahead and create a class with this. The class name is called as customer controller. The controller class gets annotated with a rest controller, which comes from org.spring framework. The customer controller will have an instance of service. I'll have private i customer service with a variable name is called as service. And we want to do auto wired. By doing auto wired, the instance of this will be injected by Spring Boot. Let's go ahead and put in the data. The first method we want to have is to get all the customers which we have it in the list. In order to do that, I'll have a public list of customer get all customer, which does not take any parameter and which will return service dot get all customers. The URI for this to be given with get mapping since this makes a get request. I'll call this as customers. Let's go ahead and test this. In order to test it, I'll have this class which is called as sample work application started. I'll right click, run as Spring Boot application. Let's have a look at the logs. The top cat is started and the port number to which it is listening is 9090. Let's go back. I'm trying to use Postman to make a request. I'll use a get request since it's a get mapping. I'll have this as HTTP colon localhost colon 9090 customers. When I click on send, this guy should give you all the values which is there in our list with ID 1, 2, 3, all good. We want to have one more method where I want to look for one particular customer, something like enter customer and forward slash one, which will give you one. If I enter two, it should give you Peter, entering three should give you Naveen. Let's go ahead and fill in this. The next method is getting one particular customer. I'll have public, customer get customer which will take a long id of customer id which returns service dot get customer which takes a long id look at this it's so simple and i want to have a get mapping because you are returning to the get request which will be customer slash one. The one here is a path variable. You will be logically referencing with something called as cust ID. Note it, this cust ID is pointing to this cust ID. In order to map it, you will have this annotated with something called as path variable. All good. Let's save this. Since we have used dev tools, it does an auto reload. I'll go back and have an invocation. This will give you three. I click on one, it gives you Harry and so on. The next method in our list is to delete a record. I'll have public boolean delete customer, which takes the path variable of long type with customer ID and your signature this time will be delete mapping will be called as delete map which is customer slash cust ID I want to return service dot delete customer with the customer ID which you have got right let's go back and test this. I'll get all with something called customers. I'll have one, two, three 
let's try deleting i'll go ahead and say forward slash one this is delete that's a kind of request which you want to generate i'll say send this returns you true let's go ahead and check if this record is found i want to see all the customers i don't have the first record customer id one who was harry the next method in our list is to save the customer i'll have public customer save customer which gives the customer object itself customer i want to return service dot add customer and this time this mapping is called as post mapping which will be customer and this is not a path variable this will have a body associated which is request body all good it should make when you make a post call when you send a customer object they should say let's go ahead and test this i'll take one of the sample objects i'll copy this go back go to post here in the body section here i would like to paste the value i'll make some changes i don't even have to pass customer id because it gets auto incremented i would like to say somebody as content will have the value as 8989 and let's hit on post oops i'm sorry that's gonna be customer here i'll say set unfortunately data doesn't come let's go ahead and fix this there should be some problem here in our service tier instead of returning the bird we have to return the customer they should be fine. Let's go back and check if it all goes well. I'll make a post request again and click on send. Here you go. You got a next record which is called four, which is country. Do remember the next time when you restart your server, the data called four with country as a name will be deleted because we have kept just in a variable of static type. The last method in our list is to update the customer. I'll use public customer, which is a written value, update customer, which takes a request body customer, customer. I want to return service dot update the customer object, which is got from the end user. This time it will be a put mapping which is customer which will update the object. Let's go ahead and test this. I'll go back, do a get request on the customers so that all records are got here. Then I'll take one of the record which is one which is Harry. I'll make a request to put. I'll go back here. I'll make a small editing. I'll keep the customer ID as, as it is. I'll make this guy's Harry Potter with a new salary happen to be 5577. Let's click on send. Here I have Harry Potter with ID 5577. When I make the get request of customers, I click on send. Here you have one which is harry potter which we have just updated so with this we have done our crud operations with spring boot where we have clean package structure for contracts controller model service of course uh, you have a lot of extensions here where you can introduce exceptions repo and so on Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next lecture.